So money's attractive. Like I got yeah. 100%. Yeah. 100%. I mean, it's I attractive mean, as fuck. Out, like, okay. Outside this of the fact that it's money, mm. it's yeah. somebody's it's work. Power. To, yeah. Well, somebody's, yeah, power. Somebody's work to get to where they want. Someone has dedication. Continue. Sorry. It's just like, it's more than just money. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. I mean, bro. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, Edwin, all you. No, no, you no, were talking. Just, you were about to say something. Uh, yeah. I cut you off, Cody. I mean, I was just going to say, I can't say this on stream. I don't even know. Say it. You, say it. You're I, on the podcast. Help me, bro. Though, help me. Like, don't, yeah, don't yeah, yeah. Me I know people. You're, you're bad with articulating your words. If you say it. Yeah, no, no. You said never, this on stream. We were talking about yeah. this on stream. Say it. Your stream. Your stream. Yes. Not my stream. Dude, let me, yeah. let, 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 me, let me put not, it to you this way, man. I would, just, I would never date a bro, like a bro girl. And I, yes. like, I don't know how yes. pretty she is. That's, like, personality. That's very, that's very important, bro. It's very important to surround yourself with people that have stuff going for them mm. independently Same of mindset. what you're doing. Dude, look. look. I, I, I'm going to say, dude, I'm, I got, I'm so happy you brought this up because... Dude, so I've been a part of the YouTube game for a long time, right? Like, like Jug Squad, like before all of this, before streaming, like, like so I've been, I've been a part, of, like I've been, I've been fucking making YouTube videos since I was about your age, like sixteen ish, and so in that time, I've met a lot of people that also are in that same space that have found success, this and that, and dude, I've watched people date females that before they dated the female was a completely independent person had a job had things going for them and lived like you know semi far away or whatever i have watched those same females drop their entire fucking life dude their job their family their friends and they they move from like fucking 30 minutes away to like where the youtuber is and they just fucking do nothing forever Bro. The second you rely on someone else's life, or the, the second you rely on someone else to be your main source of happiness, is this day you're gonna fuck up your whole entire career, not even your entire future, your whole entire everything. Like, to say I'm dating a girl, I'm okay. For example, like, bro, if I'm making sure, I, I want something else to be my main source of happiness. Like, obviously, she's for like after my career. Like, I oh, career is first no matter what, but the second I like, I, I don't know how to word it right, but you know, you know, let, you know me, what I mean? let me let me tell you because, uh, because after my first relationship, I learned this too. Uh, when I was about to date my, you know, my last ex, who I dated for two years, the day before I asked her out, we were talking about, you know, like whether we're maybe we're gonna date, whatever. We were having fun, we'd, and we're sitting, we're watching the sunset on the beach, and we're talking about happiness. And I told her I was like, I don't find happiness in other people, but I allow other people to amplify my happiness. Yeah. So, well said. So, so you're still internally happy, and this person makes your happiness even bigger. Like, oh, yeah. Right. So, so, yeah. so you're, so you're still happy, but now that they're an addition to your life, you can have, you can, you know, in when you're with them, it can be amplified. Like, you can be yeah. more energetic, more happy with them, whatever. Mm -hmm. But if they're gone, you're not gonna be upset. Yeah. Like, yeah. like yeah. maybe, maybe momentarily, you know, you gotta re get used to them being gone again or whatever. Obviously, that, but like. You don't rely on them for you to be happy. You don't need to have them mm. around a hundred percent of the time for you to not be depressed. Like, yeah, yeah. So, that, that's, but but, that's to, a, but to your point, dude. Like you saying, you're not gonna date somebody that isn't independent or is like broke or whatever. Like that's a very that's also a very perceptive thing for somebody mm -hmm. your age. The, like, dude, I mean, the main the main like one thing that's super unattractive is when a girl like doesn't do shit like kind of what you were saying bro. yes like, yeah. i asked him other day was not like oh yeah i did nothing sit in my bed type shit like right bro. like i'm that, Dude, that is what? like uh, yeah so if, if, if a girl told me that and it's like a week on thing I, i'll cut him on my life instantly bro like I, I don't i don't talk to girls though i went on a date i don't talk to girls though <laughs> <laughs> i i went on a date with a chick four four years ago and we're at korean barbecue whatever we're talking and i asked her what her hobbies are and she goes, I don't know, like Netflix, Instagram, Snapchat. I was like, dude, I'd make her pay, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'd 